Hey, this is Barry and Holly of the WQSP Morning Show. Thank you for listening to our podcast, and we want to say a special thank you to our sponsors. Ready to find your dream home? With Anna Weathers Smith at Main Street Realty, your home search just got easier. Whether you're buying or selling, Anna offers expert advice and personalized service to help you make the best move. Discover the difference a dedicated realtor can make. Call Anna Weathers Smith at Main Street Realty today at 256 302 0110 or visit Anna Weathers Smith. Smith.com. Your perfect home is just a call away. Looking for reliable insurance that cares about you? At Miguel Corona Allstate Insurance Agency, we're more than just policies. We're your neighbors dedicated to keeping our community safe and secure. Whether it's home, auto, or life insurance, Miguel's team provides personalized service to fit your needs. With Allstate, you're in good hands. Join the Miguel Corona Allstate Insurance family today. Call us at 256 840 9422 or visit us on Facebook. Your community, your coverage, your peace of mind. Presenting. It's time to rise and shine and get your morning started with Alabama's award winning morning show. Don't change my radio station. Hello, listener. Broadcasting live from high atop Alabama's beautiful Sand Mountain. Let's go. All right, let's go. Let's, get to work. Let's try to have some fun. Please welcome your hosts, Barry. The guy with the rubber glove was surprisingly gentle. Because once you get inside my head, there's no turning back, baby. And Holly. And somebody get me some coffee! Ha, 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 ha. Ooh, ooh, That's a disturbing mental image. Let's do this. Good morning at 607. Somebody get her some coffee. I've already got my coffee. You got a big old extra large. I know. 44 ounce super gulp. Well, that's a, what a girl needs at 4 Whatever o'clock in the morning. A, a root 40, what is it? Big gulp. A, a big gulp. <laughs> yeah. You can, put, you can soak your feet in those. Well, I know, cup. but I need it all. Yeah. And like I need, probably need an extra. And you also have a, a Dr. Pepper in the fridge waiting on you. Yeah, but I need another coffee. I just do. You'll be so wired. I already am, I think. You'll be climbing trees and taking <laughs> nuts away from squirrels. I'll be cleaning the concrete walls behind you <laughs> yes, with you the will. toothbrush. Well, you'll be the one in charge of cleaning today because today we have a mission. We do. We do. We, I'm so excited. We have back on our United Way Day of Caring shirts because mm-hmm. today is our day of caring. It is. Because it was canceled last week. We thought our day of caring was last week, but yeah. it was not the day of caring. No, not for us, anyway. T- today is the day of caring. Yes, so we're going to be uh, helping someone by cleaning their home. Yep, that's in hospice care. I'm excited. I am, too. And I love having people. Oh, I do, too. Yeah. And imagine being on hospice care, and, and you know how good it feels for your home to be clean. You're, you're correct. It feels so good. Yes. So I'm glad that we're able to do this for but somebody. I, I love what hospice does, mm-hmm. uh, like a shepherd's cove. Oh, man. And have you ever so had good. somebody yes, go through? Yes, have, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dad was, uh, they were there for him, and they do a fantastic they job. They really do. Yes. They really do. They're so comforting. Mm-hmm. They're so kind. Yeah. They're so accommodating and so thoughtful. Yes. It's like they know what you mm-hmm. need before you have to ask. Yeah. I love our Shepherd's Code of Hospice. Yeah. So we'll be doing that later today. Uh, another beautiful day, a little patchy fog this morning. Did you notice the uh, the full moon on the way in? That's what you were telling me, but I didn't yeah. see I didn't get to see it. Okay, well, wait till tonight. Tonight there's a special full moon. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, we'll tell you more about that in a few minutes. It will be special, no kidding. It's going to be a super moon again. Mm-hmm. And it also has a little bit of a uh, lunar partial lunar eclipse where it could even give it that red glow tonight. Ooh. Ooh, that's yeah. cool. So it's a special night tonight. Yeah. So we'll give you all the details on that. Plus, you're going to be playing some NASCAR math again this morning. Your chance to qualify to win some tickets to Talladega coming up in a couple of weeks. We'll be uh, talking about uh, other things going on. Football, we've got uh, Pet of the Week, Healthcare Hero, uh, Teacher of the Week, and a lot of stuff going on. But first, before we go any further, got to do this. Things you need to know, it's September the 17th. Well, the month already is slipping away, and we're almost into fall officially. I think you posted something on Facebook this morning about yeah, fall. Yeah, I did. I did. I posted, and you've got time to comment. We're going to go over yeah. some of the answers later, but I just said fall is near. We're ready for it. What are you looking forward to this fall season? Mm. And then I put a picture up of us with fall leaves all around yes. us. Yes. <laughs> so, so what is, real quick, what is your favorite thing about fall? Um... Probably being outside in the cooler weather. Yeah. But I also love pumpkin patches. Yeah. I love everything about them. 
I love f- football weather when going out to games at night when it's, it's a little oh, cooler. Yeah. Not too cold, but cooler. Oh, yeah. I like that. And you like Halloween. I love Halloween. Uh, kids always loved Halloween. Their favorite time is for getting dressed up, it's a costume to wear. That's so much fun. Do you give out candy? Yeah, well, no. Okay. That's, that's the reason why. Okay. <laughs> we'll go into that. Okay. Yeah, the old, the old neighborhood I lived in, it almost broke me. I filed to file bankruptcy the next year <laughs> buying candy. <laughs> so bad. You must have lived close to the nuts and fruit. Uh, I was over on uh, Edmondson. Oh, well, yeah. Edmondson, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the that hot spot. Whispering Pines area. And, that's oh, my the hot goodness. spot. Oh. Yep. Ooh, still there, have nightmares. I know. There, what did you give out? Like, what was your... I know you didn't give out toothbrushes and apples. I ended up did giving you just, a, I ended up uh, heating some soup up on the stove and no, just ladling it out into the bag. No, you did not. Just, here. No, you, I did. <laughs> some chili. Here you chili. go, kids. Some warm ale. Here's, here's your scoop Here's of chili. Some Vienna sausage. Here's one for you. Here's one for you. <laughs> what was, oh, what you was get the worst? hot sauce I think, <laughs> I think Vienna sausages... What if you gave them out individually instead of in the I can? Did. Oh, no, you did not. <laughs> yeah, cracker for you. What could be the worst thing that you could give out on Halloween oh. other than buying a sausage? Because I don't know if that could be top. I think it's toothbrush and toothpaste. Really? When they give that to you. I've never had that given to me, but I have heard of people doing it. Yes, I had it happen to me. Why? Wow. It like ruins your night. Yeah. I'm waiting for a big old Butterfinger and look, and there's Crest. But you know what? You never see full-size candy bars anymore. No. They're always fun size. Sad. And they are fun, but yeah. I would like full size. They're just getting the party started, and now you're already finished eating your candy bar. I know. It's, it's not like, fun. It's like a little a- fun appetizer. Okay, we need some more music again. Hold on. Okay. We've already, we've already played the bed again. <laughs> okay. I know. Okay, we'll try it again. Okay, so it's September 17th. What's going on? Today is National Rice Krispie Treat Day. Do you yes, like Rice Krispie Treats? I love treats? Rice Krispies. Mother could make such good Rice Krispie Treats. I do, treats. too. I do, too. In 1940, Kellogg's trademarked the name Rice Krispie Treats. Yeah. Now... We're about to get into something weird. <laughs> this is bizarre. I did not know this until this morning. I, I have an idea. Yeah. Let's play it first and then tell them who sings it. Okay. Uh, here is a Rice Krispies jingle from 1963. Wake up in the morning, there's a snap around the face. Wake up in the morning, there's a crackle in your face. Wake up in the morning, there's a pop that really says Rice Krispies to you. And you, and you, for on the milk and listen to the stand that says it's nice. For on the milk and listen to the crackle of that rice. Get up in the morning to the pop that says it's rice. Hear them talking, Chris. Rice Krispies! Do you know who that was? I, uh, you, you wouldn't have. No, I wouldn't have. That was the Rolling Stones. That yeah. was Mick Jagger. That was him. They went from the Rice Krispies jingle to this. Just yeah, a year or so later. and what we were looking at before the show, when we were doing show prep, is that this jingle came out before yeah. their popular song. So they did this jingle before they got popular. I wonder if it's like an embarrassing question later, say... Hey, Mick Jagger, remember the Rice Krispies <laughs> jingle that you did? Wake up in the morning and it's... Da, 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 da. That is crazy. And they, were, they started, they, I read a few pieces, said they also considered doing I Can't Get No Honey Smacks, <laughs> Honky Tonk Waffles, and Brown Sugar Pop-Tarts. Honky just, Tonk Waffles. <laughs> brown Sugar Pop-Tarts. Brown Sugar. Why do you taste so good? But <laughs> <Good. laughs> <laughs> well, that's a little weird piece of information. We'll yeah. like to ask Ted McCreelis when he comes oh. in. Oh, yeah, that's such a good he's idea. He's a huge Rolling Stones Oh, fan. yeah. You yeah. know. <laughs> Ted's so old, he used to babysit Keith Richards. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> he is so old. <laughs> no, I'm moving on. Okay. On Monday, Thomas Drett announced the dates and locations for his Better in Boots tour yes. 2025. I tell you, I've seen Thomas in concert. He puts on a great show. Really? In Birmingham. I saw him a few years ago. Oh. Yeah. The run of shows begins in June of next year. So Tucker Wetmore will be a direct sponsor wow. or support, sorry, direct support on the tour, along with special guests, the... Castellos, uh, yeah. Dasha. The Castellos are coming. They're coming soon. They got a new single coming. All right, so a single coming. Okay. They're supposed to have a big 2025. Oh. Now imagine being Tucker Wetmore. The guy has one song, and T- uh, Thomas Red says, "Hey, will you be my opening act?" I know. He just picks him up. That's Unreal. gonna real skyrocket him. Yeah. Well, the closest dates to us is June 27th of next year in Birmingham at venue. Yeah, they haven't announced which location yet. Oh, yeah. Hey, I, I, I read know, that I didn't Oak know Mountain was like a venue. Shutting down. What? Oak Mountain Amphitheater. Yeah. What? Mm hmm. Why? Uh, I think it's outdated. 
I think because you got like the Orion in Huntsville, so they're going to build another one in Birmingham. That breaks my heart. I've yeah. seen so many good shows I there. I have too. Oh no! Yeah. yeah, that's where I saw Kiss, and that's where I saw Thomas Rhett. That's where I saw Poison. Yeah. That's where I saw yeah. uh, it, all my good shows. Right. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, and then June 28, 2005, he's going to be in Orange Beach at the Wharf oh, Amphitheater. I've always wanted to go see his show there. I was about to say, if you want a trip to go to the beach, plan it on June 28th. Go see Thomas Shred next year. Yeah. All right. All right. So here's some things to think about. Okay. Do you think, you know leaf blowers? Oh, yeah. I used to have one. Okay. What if you had a leaf blower, but it worked on people? <laughs> like you go to Walmart and you can just clear the aisle. Yeah. Or you, you walk into work and just, in the meeting and somebody's in your chair. Just, oh, yeah. Just blow them away. Shoo, yeah. Shoot them in the corner. Or when I'm sitting at my desk and certain people, people come and linger. Yeah. I would love to take out the people blower and I'd go, love to whoosh, crank it up and point it right towards your I face. I would. I would with no yeah. remorse. Part their hair. Yeah. Part their nose hair. And tell me if you've ever thought about this. Okay. The early bird may get the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. <laughs> you ever thought about that yeah, before? Because the first mouse is laying there, stuck to the pan, oh, got a little piece of wire on his head. <laughs> <laughs> and the mouse says, I'll get that. Thank I'll you. take that. Thank you. And then he says, How about a little Rolling Stone this morning? They said, Sure. Wake up in the morning, never stay around the baby. That is so bizarre. It's weird. 617. Mornings with Barry and Holly here on Alabama's country giant WQSB. I want to congratulate our latest podcast winner. It's uh, Mandy, is it Segler? I think. Segler, yeah. Mandy Segler, we pulled your name out this morning. You made a comment on our podcast on our Facebook page, and you have won a Barry and Holly morning show t-shirt. Congratulations yes, you have. to I'm you. I'm sending you a message right yep. now. We'll contact you, and if you'd like to be our next winner, we're giving away another shirt tomorrow. What are we, or rather today, what are we doing? Uh, Tough question. Uh, yeah, let's give we'll away another shirt. Yeah, We'll do that again. So what okay. you do is you find our podcast. It'll be available wherever you find podcasts. But to have a chance to win, you go to our Facebook page. Click on the uh, podcast. It'll be up sometime after 930. Uh, comment on it. Tell us something you found interesting, something you liked. And we'll have another random drawing tomorrow morning. And you could be our, our next winner coming up tomorrow morning. By the way, big thank you to Anna Weathers uh, Smith with Main Street Realty Plus and Miguel Corona Allstate Insurance sponsoring this month's podcast. We appreciate that very much. Since you've been gone, things that happened when you were gone. How about Prince Harry? He's about to be like a multimillionaire. He got a little chunk of change left for him. So Prince Harry just turned 40, yeah. and he's reportedly set to receive $10.5 million dollars from a trust fund established by the Queen Mother for her great grandchildren. Wow. Ten mil ten and a half million dollars. For turning forty. Just for happy birthday. All I got was a few wrinkles. See, I've dread and turning forty. I if I was Prince Harry, I would be counting down the days. Yeah. Like day number one thousand two hundred and seventy two. They say he got more than William did at that age because William is also a part of a trust fund by being the next king down the road. Mm. So somehow Harry got more money than Prince William. Oh, I wonder why. Yeah, ooh, don't know. I don't, don't know, know the details. I don't know. know. And this is sad. Oh, Tito man. Jackson. I know. Tito Jackson, a founding member of the Jackson Five. I love the Jackson Are Five. Are you going to play me? Okay. I was about to say. They were so good in that. They were so good. Little Michael, and he was with them. He was so cute. I know. At their front. You could just tell he was going to be. Tito is one of the older ones, right? He's in the back, yeah. I yeah. think, yeah. Right. Yeah. I hate to hear that passed away. Yeah, he died of a heart attack on Sunday at the age of ah. 70. I'm glad you put that because on yeah. the news they weren't telling. For really a while telling, they weren't yeah. really telling. Yeah. But it was a heart attack? Uh, according to sources this morning, yeah. Okay. That's what happened. He was 70 years old. He was joined by his brothers Michael's. Michael, Jermaine, Jackie, and Marlon in the original chart-topping Jackson 5. They had a lot of hits. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They did a good job. They were good. And this is so funny. This is Mayor. Is this your daughter? Did she do this? Is this her? Did she do this? No, we're not from Ohio. Yeah. In Ohio, an eight-year-old girl took her family's SUV. She's eight. Eight. 
and drove to Target 13 <laughs> miles away. Wow. She was found shopping. Okay, it's an SUV. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of times the seats are, you know, a little harder to reach pedals or something, depending <laughs> on how big they are. She was eight, and she wow. took the family's SUV, which is crazy scary. Yeah. But also dangerous, but also hilarious. She And they found her. She was shopping inside of the Target. <laughs> so she made it. Yeah, she made it. But she said that uh, she had a couple mailboxes. On the way. That was about it. But hey, that's pretty good for 13 miles. That's yeah. scary. And the good thing is, she's too young to face criminal charges. Oh, it could have killed her. I know. That's scary. And it's, others. it's funny to laugh at. Yeah. But for real, oh, dangerous. She's lucky she made it alive. Like, what are you doing that you don't notice your child is gone with your car? Yeah. What are you, where are you at? I mean, the child and the SUV is gone. The eight-year-old and the SUV are both gone. I would think somebody has came in my house, yep. kidnapped my child, and, and taken my, my car. Yeah, my vehicle. But nope, she was found in... I wonder how they found her inside of Target. I, I don't know. Did they just pull up and check and see where the vehicle was? And they tracked it down there? I don't know. But imagine walking up at eight years old. You just drove 13 miles. You're in Target, living your best life. Oh, yeah. Shopping. I wonder where she got the money too. Did she take know. mom's card or probably took the whole purse? Where she took the key, probably did. Yeah, probably where she got the key or the key fob was in the purse. I wonder what she was shopping for. <laughs> probably out of crayons, like squishmallows probably. or something. She was out of out of blue, and she <laughs> had a real big project for school the next day. <laughs> that more blue crayon. The eight year olds just got to take care of themselves sometimes. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> no, Better no. hide those keys <laughs> at six thirty one. Mary and Holly on Alabama's Country Giant WQSB. Full moon. Uh oh. Well, we had one this morning as you're coming in, but this is a special one. Uh, yeah, but somebody mentioned on uh, they commented that hey, we just found out there's something special tonight. There yeah. really is. It's called a, it's a partial lunar eclipse. It's a along with the super moon. So the super moon alone is going to make it look just a little bit closer and brighter. Then you throw in a partial lunar eclipse. It's going to start later tonight, roughly about seven thirty, seven forty. They say is when you can start seeing this and uh, looking at the map. Yes, our area is in a perfect spot to see it. Yeah, so Letha Cannon posted on Facebook. She tagged me. She said, Barry and Holly just announced on WQSB that we're supposed to have a special full moon tonight. Mm -hmm. To all my fellow educators and healthcare workers, we've got this. Stay strong. Yeah, so about the time sun is going down, it's already down, that's when it's going to start. And it's going to last a, a couple of hours. Now, it's not going to be like a full lunar eclipse. Uh, it's going to be partial, like the, like the top of it. Mm -hmm. But it's also, it should be able to give it just a little bit of a red glow tonight. Ooh. The moon. Yeah. I'm going to like that. I think this is their sec uh, no, this is our first full moon. I think we may have two this month. I don't remember. Mm. I don't know. But anyway, it's called a super moon because of its size and brightness, and it's also due to be eclipsed by Earth as it rises into the late summer skies. Uh, it always occurs at a full moon phase when Earth is positioned between the moon and the sun, and it's going to be a partial. So when these three bodies align, Earth's shadow falls upon the surface of the moon, dimming it and causing odd changes in its appearance, which means you could see kind of a reddish uh, glow to the moon for a, an hour or so. I have questions. Yeah. So if the earth is in the middle, yeah. I should probably ask you this off air. I'm, you, I don't want to be dumb. Well, okay. If the earth is in the middle, yeah. the sun's on one side, right. the moon's on the other side, right. how do we see the overlapping of the two? Well, no idea. <laughs> I am, I'm just reading what I was given here. I mean, really, I do you know. know what I mean? I like, know what you mean. Like, if it's lined up, sun, earth, moon, yeah. how do you see well, the like overlap? Like total eclipse that we had, the, you know, back early, the, yeah. the moon went in front of the sun. It cycles around, right? Yeah, it went in front of the sun. That's when we had the total eclipse here uh, months ago. Do we cycle their moon, or does the moon cycle us? You're Circle. asking the wrong guy. Mm. I went to school mainly to enjoy lunch and PE. <laughs> <laughs> that was my two. I majored in PE and yeah. minored in lunch. My teachers out there are like, Holly, we taught you better than this. Yeah. But I okay. didn't pay attention that I'll day. I'll read it again. Okay, okay. Earth's shadow. Shadow. The shadow falls upon oh, the, the surface. Oh, the shadow. So the shadow. So the sun hits the earth, and then the earth's shadow will hit the moon. Oh. That's why part of the earth's shadow will cover part of the moon. Uh-huh. 
I'm still a little lost here, but I get it. We're kind of in the middle. Okay. Uh, but the sun will hit the, the earth in the right angle, and our shadow will be on part of the moon. So if you get a full eclipse, we cover the entire part of the moon. So this time it's only going to cover up part of it. So part of the earth is just being beat down by the sun? Basically, yeah. Baked. The bottom part? It may explode. Okay. okay. I don't know. No, we, don't, we don't know. Anything <laughs> don't know. could happen. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, the, uh, that's what's going to happen. So tonight, at right, 740 is, will be the peak for us to see it. And it's going to last a couple of hours. Okay. Well, I wouldn't set my alarm. That's right, right as I go to bed. bed about sundown. Yeah. Before you go to bed, go outside and just take a, take a look. I'll take a little peek. Yeah. Uh, but it should be beautiful. You're probably going to see some fantastic photos because in some areas, it's going to have like a red glow to it. Oh, you'll have to keep a watch on James Spann's Facebook page. Yeah. He always shares the coolest weather stuff. Yeah. So anyway, it's coming up tonight. So it should be fun. It's 647. WQSB. Mornings with Barry and Holly. Dr. Holly's pile of stories. Netflix renewing another show. Shabuzi tearing it up. And Jordan Childs, the USA gymnast, back of the news. So what all is going on? So Netflix renewed Emily in Paris for a fifth season. I've after never seen this. I hated it. Really? Yeah, I didn't like it at all. Is it like a Hallmark type thing? <laughs> yes, or? it's too cheesy for me. Uh, I don't know. Nobody uh, throw rocks at me. I'm sorry. Well, I just I've, don't like okay, it. Okay, so I should stay away. Yeah, it, you would not like it. It had a big debut in season four, part two, so they're going to renew it for the fifth season. Okay, okay. But, never mind. I'm, I'm, I was about to squirrel, but oh, okay. I'll, keep go I'll keep going. Okay. I'm going to tell you anyway. Okay, I've been watching this show. Hold on. There. Okay, I've been watching this show. Yeah. It's The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives. Oh, no. It's on Hulu. Yeah. It's wild. <laughs> it is Barry. So it's a reality show. It's I a guess. reality show. Gotcha. And like I said, this is a complete squirrel moment. Yeah. If you are listening out there and you love drama, but not to be involved in it. <laughs> You just love to watch it. You've got to. Wa it, it is. Don't watch it with your kids around. Okay. It's dirty. Gotcha. Oh. I, I know. What, you'd be surprised. Yeah. These women do like crazy things. Those Mormon wives? Well, yeah. Will Brumblow told me about this show. Ah. He's like, my wife loves it. He's Will's like, to blame then. Will's to blame. My, okay. He's like, well, actually, probably Ariel is his wife. Oh. Because we like a lot of the same things. He yeah. talks about things she likes. And I'm like, oh, I like that too. Like Taylor Swift. Yeah. Hold on. And this <laughs> Secret Lives of Mormon Women Wives, I need somebody to watch this out there so I can talk to you about yeah. it. I need to talk to somebody about this show. It's crazy. <laughs> so moving on. Shabuzi's yeah. a, sh a bar song, Tipsy. You're all tore up. I am. Yeah. Spends its 10th week at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, extending its run of the most weeks spent at the top of the chart singles in 2024. Biggest song of the year on Billboard. Biggest song of the year. On all formats. Shabuzi, a bar song. He'll never have to work again. I know, but do you think he will? Uh, he don't have to because he co-wrote it, so being also a writer, yeah. He's, I didn't know he co-wrote that. Sure did. He's, gonna, he's doing well, trust me. Mm. Yeah. Also on the Billboard Hot 100 Top 10, Post Malone's I Had Some Help featuring Morgan Wallen holds at number two. Wow. While Sabrina Carpenter replaces replaces three songs in the top ten for a third consecutive week. Oh, she's red hot, too. I love she? her, yeah. yeah. I like her a lot. Yeah. And Jordan Childs. Yeah. The USA gymnast Jordan Childs is fighting to overturn the decision that stripped her of a bronze medal in the women's gymnastic floor event in the 2024 Paris Olympics. And she was done wrong. She was done wrong. Because they, they had proof that it wasn't done right and they wouldn't even hear their argument. Yeah. And you know what? The child's t attorneys filed for an appeal with the Federal Supreme Court of Switzerland. Yeah, so that they sounds could, very official. So they could possibly overturn this. I mean, they could. They're going to court for it. I hope it. so. I hope they do, too. Give I Jordan the medal. Give both of them a bronze. If nothing else, give the other girl and her uh, both a bronze. I know. Just Something. make it right. Yeah. All right. 655. Birthdays are next. Mornings with Barry and Hall here on Alabama's country giant WQSB. Ready to find your dream home with Anna Weathers Smith at Main Street Realty. Your home search just got easier. Whether you're buying or selling, Anna offers expert advice and personalized service to help you make the best move. Discover the difference a dedicated realtor can make. Call Anna Weathers Smith at Main Street Realty today at 256 302 0110 or visit AnnaWeathersmith.com. Your perfect home is just a call away. 
Looking for reliable insurance that cares about you? At Miguel Corona Allstate Insurance Agency, we're more than just policies. We're your neighbors dedicated to keeping our community safe and secure. Whether it's home, auto, or life insurance, Miguel's team provides personalized service to fit your needs. With Allstate, you're in good hands. Join the Miguel Corona Allstate Insurance family today. Call us at 256-840-9422 or visit us on Facebook. Your community, your coverage, your peace of mind. Hey, a lot of kids in the car uh, need to listen closely on this. Uh, TikTok. Mm-hmm. Uh, I look at TikTok. I like to watch some of the funny stuff, especially the animals, some of the uh, jokes they tell. But anything you see on TikTok doesn't mean because they're doing it that you need to do it. Mm-hmm. And there's uh-huh. another another fra- another craze going around. What is it now? TikTokers eating dirt. Wow. Yes, it's a new trend on TikTok. Uh, eating edible dirts and clay. Now, the act of eating clays, I didn't know this, has been practiced for hundreds of years, and it's usually practiced in a way to consume minerals that could be lacking in someone's diet. I've never heard of this. Like zinc, yeah. Okay. However, some TikTokers claim that their clays can remove toxins, help with acne, and improve your mood. Okay, I will say this. Yeah. I have a clay mask that I use, and it is very good for the skin, but I don't need it. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, One TikToker has racked up millions of views chewing on dirt and clay patties in front of her followers it's a uh, grace is it gracie marie I yeah think. um anyway professor says you got to be careful uh there would of course be contaminations in dirt he said i would especially worry about heavy metals he advises anyone who wants to eat clay for health benefits to first seek help from a medical professional. And let them guide you on what to eat. Don't just grab clay and definitely don't just grab dirt and begin eating it. I think these people have like an iron deficiency yeah. or something. <laughs> and they're like looking. I don't know. Why are they eating dirt? Don't eat dirt. I know. Kids, when they're little bitty, they don't understand and they might be making, I don't know. Like mud pies, Mm -hmm. you know, sitting outside and take a bite of it. That's innocent. They don't mean to. They're just... But when you get older, you know better. Quit eating dirt. Don't eat dirt. Don't eat dirt out there or clay. It's weird. No, just think of it this way. There could have been a dog or a cat that peed on it. Or worse. Or worse. Mm -hmm. And you're sitting there eating dirt. (laughs) There's got to be at least a crustable in the house or something or some cookies or a cracker (laughs) or a Lunchable. If not, come come by the station. We'll give you some peanuts or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll find something. We'll find something. If it was meant to eat me, you'd be called a dirtable. A d- but it's not. It's a, a, a lunchable. You eat, yes, eat lunchable, but not, yeah, not, not a dirtable. No. no. Say no to the dirt. Never the dirtable. But that is weird, yeah. yeah. But anyway, I haven't seen the TikToks of them doing this. I've never seen it, but there's so many weird trends on there that yes. I've seen. I don't understand it. Be and careful. I love TikTok. I love to scroll TikTok. Yeah. But I don't get outside of my... Uh, for you page because there's some weird stuff out there. Very strange. Uh huh. Just because you see people doing it doesn't mean it's okay to do it. Don't eat the dirt. No, do not. Eat the dirt. All right, time for the quote of the day. What have you got for us today? The right one for you will move the mountains to be with you. He won't hide behind them. Ooh. Yes. That's a good thought. That is a good thought. They yes. can go for he or she, the yep. one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The right one. They'll do anything they can to be with you and do anything they can for you. Mm-hmm. And they yeah. won't hide behind them. No, they won't. Yeah. They'll yeah. show you their true selves and move those mountains. You are correct. It's 7-15. Barry and Holly on Alabama's Country Giant. WQSB. Come on! Some food stories. Uh, go back a few months ago. Burger King had a contest. Uh, they're going to give away a million dollars if you design a Whopper that they decide to use. Uh-huh. So we both designed one. You had to include all ingredients that should be on it. Mm-hmm. It's been so long ago. I don't remember what I even put. I know I had I ranch it's dressing. Like, yeah, it's been like three or four months I think ago. I had fried onions, and I forget what else was on there, and I yeah. don't remember. But anyway, they've narrowed it down to the final three. And then one of these three, they're, actually all three of these will go on sale later this fall and then one of the three will be chosen as the winner i think we get to vote and the winner gets a million dollars Ooh! so what flavors see do they if have? you would try these okay the, the one is a, cr- a guy named fabian created the fried pickle ranch 
Whopper. Is that not what you just said you created? Uh, that's what I thought, oh. basically. But oh. it's got some other ingredients on it. Okay. Uh, then there's Calvin, who has the maple bourbon barbecue Whopper. Ooh, I'd try that. Okay, then there's Kelsey, who has the Mexican street corn Whopper. <gasps> Interesting. That is interesting. Um, yeah, but going back to the fried pickle ranch, I had those, but you had to do like five, four or five ingredients. Yeah. Maybe some of mine were different. I don't know. But I, I think this Fabian guy pretty much copied my idea. Yeah. And I may file a lawsuit. Well, you may have I to. Know. I don't know. Yeah. So what else is going on? Well, M&M's are dropping something for the holidays, and I'm so excited because yeah. they are toasty holiday peanut M&M's. Ooh, toasty. Yes. Okay. It's not just a traditional. M&M's, but they feature cinnamon, vanilla, spice sugar, and caramel flavors. That sounds good. That's going to be so good. I'm definitely going for that. And are toasted, apparently. Mm-hmm. Okay. I yeah. Try these. Yep. And then, am I doing Amazon? Uh, go right ahead, yeah. Okay. Amazon Fresh launches new budget-friendly brand Amazon Savers. So you know how a store has store brands? Sure, there's uh, like, like great value. Food club, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. So Amazon is doing the same exact thing. Uh, They're calling it Amazon Saver. And according to the announcement, the goal is to help grocery budgets go further. Okay. The private label will include... Uh, like the essentials like crackers, cookies, canned fruit, condiments, and more. Most of the stuff will be priced under $5. And if you're a Prime member, you get an additional 10% off. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Yeah. So they have it on here. They've got turkey breast, pancake syrup, yeah. coffee creamer, garlic powder, so seasonings, graham crackers, sweet peas. It looks like they're going to have a lot of stuff under this brand. I like it because we need some help. We all need some because help. the prices are so high. Mm-hmm. They we'll, are. We'll have to try these to see what it tastes like. Yep. All right, 728. WQSB. Mornings with Barry and Holly. Will needs to come in for this one. Uh, we're bringing in Will Brumble. He has no choice on this one. First all right. of all, he's got on his United Way Day of Caring shirt. Yes, he does. Okay, he's we're about to hold on. we got to get a good discussion. Come on, man. Come good morning, on, y'all. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Will. Uh, Will's getting ready to go help us uh, do some good Come deeds on. later today. But before we go, we've got to give you something you can talk about. There's a new sport that's uh, spreading the, the world. And I don't know if you've ever looked into hobby horsing. Yes, I've seen really? videos of the you've hobby, hobby horse. Yes. Oh, okay. Have you tried this by your uh, at home? I, can, I cannot. Mm. Okay. Holly, okay. Let's, let's try to describe this the best we can. Okay. So it's a horse with a stick on it, the kind that you give your four-year-old. A horse's head. Horse's head, yeah. And that's really it. And then they but, hurdle. But there's now, it's a sport. Uh, uh-huh. Finland, it's a, one of the hottest sports in Finland. And they had another, I think, competition somewhere in Spain or something this weekend. The U.S. is now doing it. This is not for kids. Well, it can be, but it's for adults. Um... So I don't understand the appeal of this. Is, is he watching the video? He's watching it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They they look like about what I would expect to uh, be hobby horsing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was gonna say I'm not judgmental, but yeah. look at these people that are riding these horses. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, see, and it looks like they do that every day. Like they just walk around holding a hobby horse. I'd be like, hey, y'all, quit quit horsing around. Oh. <laughs> Quit horsing around. But they Put even the have, horse down. They have competitions. Okay, picture like stuff like the Olympics a few months ago, where the horses, the equestrian part, where they were jumping over these uh, fences and things. Yeah, people are doing it themselves. They're running th- on it around this course, yeah. holding a stick horse between their legs, and they're jumping over hurdles. Hurdles. Yeah. All the time, it, it looks like they're riding a horse, but it's actually a horse's head. It's a hobby horse. It, it says, this has a longer stick because it gives me more space to move. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't have a long stick when you have a hobby horse. I wouldn't think so, but you got to hit. You got to hit those hurdles. But these riders are taking this so serious. Oh, they take it very serious. I, I wonder if they get done with one, if they have to send it off to the glue factory, too. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, ooh, I wonder if they retire their horses ooh, and get a new one. Or retire it to the farm. Or name them. Um, yeah, yeah, or name them. You, you know, here's de- Pepper. Yeah, here's you pepper. would definitely have to name your horses. Would you, you retire them to the stick horse farm so they can <laughs> mate? No, I would probably mate. That's what you do when you retire horses. Really? Basically. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's it, news to me. It yeah. says the first one was uh, first began in a parking lot. Okay. <laughs> Some guy was drunk. <laughs> Police pulled up. What are you doing? What's a new sport? Sobby horsing. <laughs> I have not been drinking. You're, you're uh, Ossifer. I've not been drinking. A man created this? I'm sure. And these are all women contestants. Well... 
And look, I mean, they're for real serious about this. Like, they... You said that some of these, they cost up to $1,000. Yeah, the horse is at one. <laughs> She's fully focused, ready to win. <laughs> it's, it's a person running around the course doing the jumps just like a horse would, but it's a person doing it. Uh, while holding or it. like you do like in track and field when you're hitting the hurdles. Yeah. That's what they're doing, but it they is. have a riding horse it's, on a stick. It's a penalty <laughs> if you let go of the reins. Oh, I didn't oh, know. We that's no what it <laughs> you're judged on that. Uh, there's even judges. You judge on technique and execution, okay. uh, style and creativity, okay. overall performance, gait consistency, oh, uh, impulse and injury. Uh, I'm sorry, energy. I'm sure you're injured. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Stick rides up on you. Yep. Wrong, wrong spot. <laughs> this is why uh, women do it. And yeah. they, these Appearance, girls can leap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Use of aids and turnout, whatever that means. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I would like to see the creativity aspect of this. I want to see how creative they are with this. Probably make horse noises when they run. You think so? <laughs> Why does, what is this piercing right here? A septum. Every single one Every of them has got a septum, has piercing. A septum uh, piercing. Yeah, they well, did. It, and this is true. It, this may is have, true. it may have punctured their brain. One so of them deep. has green hair. One of them has blue hair. One of them has pink hair. I mean, really. Wow. And like I said, not judging. Not judging. If this is your thing, then just ride the stick, girl. Well, when your daughters get older, they tell mom and say, Mama. I want a hobby horse team. School is having a hobby horse team. I want to join. I'll say, I support you, daughter. Yeah, I support you. Imagine being at a, like, they go to a concert and they're like, oh, there's a barricade. And yeah. then, <laughs> <laughs> they jump over. But anyway, this, you can see the video on some of our Facebook page. you got to see you the gotta video. you got to watch this. It's yes. the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yes. I mean, come on, man. That'll be an Olympic sport. It will be. You watch. It will. Yeah. Right. If breakdancing can make it, hobby yeah. horsing yep. can make it. It's 742. Mornings with Barry and Holly here on Alabama's country giant WQS. That must mean Rachel is close by. Oh, look, there she is now. Woohoo! There she is. She has landed. She's in the room. I'm here. Yes. It's a fantastic morning, Janet. Yes. I had to give her a little shout, shout out this morning. Shout out, Janet. We yes. love you. We all yes. love you. Uh, does she like knowledge nuggets, too? Yes, she does. Oh, does, good. Does it make her smarter? Uh, mm, I don't know about that. No. I don't know if it makes anybody smarter, Barry. It should. I, don't know. I mean, because you work hard on these. I mean, I know, but I don't know if smarter would be the word. Okay, what would you call it then? More full of it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah 100%. Okay, well, you are then. <laughs> yeah, I You've know. You've accomplished it then. <laughs> I know. Well, we need some knowledge nuggets then. So, what have you got lined up today? 28% of people take a selfie an average of seven times before they're satisfied with the photo. Seven. I think that's a higher percentage. You think so? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think... <sighs> now you take a lot I, of pictures. I know, but I don't... I don't know that I would take it seven. I feel like after the third or fourth time, if I'm yeah. not getting a good one, I'm like, ah, uh, it's this, not for me today. Mm -mm. It's not the day today. You think the younger the person, the more times they take one? I wouldn't. I wouldn't put an age on it because I think that no matter what age you are, whether you're seven or seventy. Yeah. You're going to criticize the way you look. I think more kids do it because they've got to have it just right. Yeah. they got to be perfect. Yeah. Then they'll change it the very next day. Do you ever take selfies, Rach? No. You don't? No, no I just don't like them of myself. Yeah. No. I don't know. Barry takes selfies. No, he I don't. You took I'm one this morning. No, I'm not I don't. Good at you it. took it. You took it. Well, I had to hold your phone. <laughs> now, we took a picture this well, morning. That, like Ted Lasso said, it's got to be an us if you take more than yeah, one person. Yeah, it's an us see. It's us it's not a selfie anymore. Yeah, yeah I yeah. like it. Yeah, only 5% of people grow pumpkins to eat them each year. Okay, now you've, you've grown one. I have grown a pumpkin. Rachel, I have a pumpkin at my house. Are you going to eat grew. it? I'm growing. It's still in the vine. Are you going to eat it? No, I'm not going to eat see, it. I you're one of the 5% then. No, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm one of the 95%. Sorry. I agree with that because we saw uh, something yesterday on the news. It showed the pumpkin like a record 1,800 pounds. Yeah. Somebody broke a record yeah. in some country. Yeah. And you could not eat that. He didn't grow it to eat it. He grew it to win this award. Well, yeah. Holly's is still growing, so she, yeah. mm -hmm. she may reach How that. How many pounds is it now, would you guess? Um, probably four. 
Ooh. About Ooh, four pounds. Wow. Yeah. It's probably, it's pretty big. You've, it's white. It's really pretty. Have you fertilized it? No. Oh. But I will say, <laughs> hey, are, is pumpkin pie made out of real pumpkin? Like, is, it made, is that what that is for real? I would think so. Well, no idea. <laughs> because, like, <laughs> think about how creamy and good, like, yeah. sweet it is. And think about how gross what else and would nasty. It be made of? Well, I don't know, but think about how nasty the pumpkins are when you go to carve them and how gross. Like, yeah. well, do you, you do you carve pumpkins? I did once. You did once. Didn't turn. It turned out okay, but out, two weeks later it was stinking, <laughs> and it wasn't even Halloween they yet. Do. Then it collapsed. <laughs> they do that. <laughs> so now Reagan would just always draw Paint it. Them, use yeah, a that's Sharpie what we do. And draw it. That's what we do. What do you do yeah. at your house? Well, we would carve them. You would. Yeah, yeah, but they don't last very long once you do that. I know. They Rachel, look like a little. Old man with no teeth. <laughs> yeah. Rachel likes the whole knife in her hand thing and cutting and this pretending it's. A oh yeah, you head got she it. Don't like. Mrs. Currington says yes, it is made out of real pumpkin. What else could it have been? Barry, I don't know. I'm just asking a question. Apples? I, no, but the thing is, is Lemons? the only thing that I've e no, the only thing that I've ever Lime? no experienced with a pumpkin is that nasty stringy, yeah. goopy stuff. Yeah. So what is it? Do they scrape the inside you of scrape it? Scrape until you get non-stringy, goopy stuff and get the good stuff. But that's not. Yeah. No. I think you scoop out all the seeds and the yeah. goopy stuff and then use the yeah. rest of the pumpkin for the pumpkin pie. What's the goopy stuff for? Just to throw, throw it away. Throw it to somebody. Throw it to somebody. <laughs> Have a pumpkin pie fight. Hey, that be so gross. Yeah. Women on a diet, or women go on a diet an average of 16 times in their lifetime. Whoa. I'm going to say that is a low number. I agree. Yep. I go on a diet just about every week. <laughs> There's 52 weeks in a year. I'm 36. Same diet or different diets? Oh, I'm just like, today I'm going to eat less. Yeah. I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to grill my chicken. And then I go to Chick-fil-A. Hmm. And they're like, do you want it fried or grilled? And I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fried. Fried. I'm on the new Baskin yeah. diet. Or I'll do grilled chicken. And then they're like, you want fries or that? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Have you tried the Baskin diet? No, what's that? It's a uh, got a friend named Robbins, and oh it works gosh. pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever tried the seafood diet? <laughs> no. You see food and you eat oh, it. <laughs> Come on now, that was a good one. No. You see food and you eat it. The seafood diet. Rachel didn't come in here for this. Rachel, this she wanted more. How many that times is... do you go? Well, you don't need to lose any weight, but no. how how often in your lifetime would you say that you've tried to diet? Or have Not you ever really. had to? No, I haven't you, ever you had to. You just have a high, have, high metabolism? Yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. Well, I don't. I have no metabolism. <laughs> Mine's non-existent. <laughs> and I have been on a diet probably one million times in mm. my life. Yeah, yeah, I think that number was a little low myself. Yeah, I think 16 is low. Well, nope. because every year, you know, you want to start the new year out with your New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And one of those time. is, I'm going to die and I'm going to get and healthy, exercise, get yeah. in shape. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh well. well right. have, what about you? What about a man? Do, yeah, do sure. you diet? I, I am. My diet usually consists of stop drinking soft drinks. Okay. All right. And I can lose weight by doing that. But do, it's so hard to stop. Yeah. Do you? Oh, my gosh. That I and sweet tea. See, I cut out sweet tea two months ago. And anyway, have yeah. you dieted more than 16 times? Uh, yes, I would say yes. Okay, there you go. Yeah. From off and on. All right, thanks, Rachel. 758. Barry and Holly on Alabama's Country Giant, WQSB. Yesterday on our Facebook page, we put a lot of unusual, interesting stories. And this kind of thing bothers me because, I mean, it's I don't have to buy it and I'm not going to. But in Chicago, there's a martini served at, uh, is it Adelina? Adelina? Yeah. Uh, it was at like a, a bar? What is that exactly? I, get, I don't know. I've never Either been way, there. They were, they were now claimed to have been serving the most expensive martini in the world. $13,000 mar martini is made with a, a rare... Must call. What is that? Is that a, a tequila. Oh, okay. Uh, then an heirloom tomato, chili liqueur, lemon basil olive oil, and a diamond tennis necklace also goes with it. Now, what bothers me is there's people who are buying this for 13000 which it's your money. Do what you want to do with it. But look at all the good you could do with that $13,000 instead uh, of buying a oh martini, 
which is going to be like a couple of sips and it's gone. Yes, you get the tennis bracelet, but but still. But anyway, can you imagine spending thirteen grand on a martini? I could take my kids to Disney World. <laughs> You know? <laughs> yes. Like, I could, that's a life changing yes. amount of money. Look at the money For you me give it to is. some of these uh, shelters and some of these hospitals and stuff who, St. Jude, things like yeah. that. Yeah. 13 grand. $13,000. That's probably only ordered when you're about 13,000 drinks in. Probably. Like, then, hey, you know what? Bring out that $13,000 yes. martini. I'm ready, yeah. baby. Then the Let's next go. day, you're looking over what all you spent the last year's bank. It'll come to the bank account, <laughs> pops up on your phone saying, oh, by the way, you spent 13 grand on a martini. At Adelina in yeah. Chicago. Yeah, but anyway, but speaking of our Facebook page, uh, we want to thank everybody. We've had so many people uh, begin following us on Facebook because we try our best to put, like, unusual stories, entertaining stories, uh, maybe special stories, feel-good stories, things that we're doing here at the radio station. You'll always find it first there if we're doing a special contest there, and we've have a lot of followers who've joined in in the last few months, but we, you want us, you want to, you like 48 more? Yeah, we got 48 more until we reach 46,000. When I first started working here, we were at 39,000, so we've grown Whoa. over the year. Um, yeah. But also, it's not just that we post things like you talked about, yeah. we also post things to interact with the audience, right. to interact with the listeners, yeah. and to get feedback. And for, like you said, contests, all kinds of pop up contests. Our podcast is on there. Yes, our you podcast can is on there. listen to it on our Facebook page. Yep. And then, so all you have to do is go to WQSB Facebook page. Mm -hmm. You tap the three dots that are beside the buttons at the top. You invite friends and invite all. And then if you will screenshot it where it says invite sent, post it to mm -hmm. my post that I just did. Um, we're going to give away a t-shirt tomorrow ah. to one winner. Yeah. So, so just yeah. so all you one have to do time. is invite your friends. So how do they do it again? They just screenshot? Yeah, just go to WQSB Facebook page, tap the three dots on the right, invite friends, mm -hmm. select all, and then screenshot invite sent and post that in the comments. There you go. So let's see if we can get at least 46,000, maybe even more. Who knows? Yeah, we can do it. May even hit 50 soon. You never know. Yeah, you never know. That would be cool. All right, 819. WQSB. Mornings with Barry and Holly. Hey. You've had a speeding ticket. I've had one. One. Yes. I remember that story. Going I, to the beach. It was going That's to the awful. beach. I, the girls were young. I was by oh. myself. They were screaming, awful. crying. Awful. Yes, yeah, sorry. So how much was it when you had to pay it? Do you remember? Um, I think it was about eight hundred dollars. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, it. I had to. It was down south, so I couldn't go to oh, port. Okay. It was like all. It was almost on the Florida line. Gotcha. So it was like five hours away. All I can say is, at least it wasn't one point four million dollars like this guy. Whoa. Yeah, a Georgia man was issued a one point four million dollars speeding ticket. He was doing ninety miles an hour in a fifty-five mile per hour zone. You're saying, how can that be? Well, Connor, Connor Cato said it stunned him when he saw it. He said, I knew it was going to be fine for speeding, but. $1.4 million beyond comprehension. He said when he called the Savannah court, he was told the amount was no mistake. Fortunately, a representative later explained that the amount was auto-generated and the fine would not exceed 1000 That was a mistake, but it was all by the computer that oh. made the mistake. So, yes, see, computers can make mistakes. Yeah. So, I guess... I was going to say the person who has a $1.4 million speeding ticket could also pay for a $13,000 martini, <laughs> Yeah, but it was a computer mistake. Yes. $1.4 million. Do you think if he had had that money and sent it in, do you think somebody would have caught it and been like, oh, we owe him a million dollars back? I'm going to say no. That's what I think. I think they would keep it. Because it sounds like the person he first spoken, spoke to wasn't going to try to help him fix this. Because uh -uh -uh. she basically said, yep, it's what it is. When common sense would tell you, nope, it's got to be a mistake. Not got a to million. Be. Got to be. Yeah. I was going, so I, I was going 65 and a 35. 
Yeah. But it wasn't of like houses around. There was no like little oh. kids playing out in the yard or a school nearby. <laughs> it was past just, the school bus. No, 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 no. It was a straight shot of wow. nothingness. And the speed limit was 55, mm. and then all of a sudden dropped down to 35. It was like a speed trap. Gotcha. Like they were watching the people mm-hmm. go. They knew I I've was coming. Them. They knew I've it. They knew it. as soon as I saw the front grill of the police car, I oh. said, oh, no. no. Oh, no. But I cannot imagine spending nope. being charged $1.4 million. No, that would just run a vacation, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Yeah. Something to think about this morning, and Holly says yes, then she says no. Researchers in Cameroon have discovered eating grasshoppers is good for your hair and for better sleep. Yep, mm. A grasshopper-based diet. Being grasshopper-based, I would think that means eating more than one. I was about to say, how many grasshoppers are we talking? Whew. So what are the benefits? It says they found that... Uh, According to this, they found that feeding these to rats, it cha- they changed their diet, gave them a, mostly grasshoppers. They had a healthier weight, better sleep patterns, and shinier hair after 12 weeks of eating a grasshopper-based diet. So the rats are the ones that they did the study on. And uh, some humans also tried this, and they too said that it showed they slept better and they had a healthier hair. So three months of eating grasshoppers, yeah. mostly grasshoppers, mostly grasshoppers, and you have better hair, yeah. healthier weight, of course you do, and better sleep patterns, probably because your blood sugar is so low, you're in a coma. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm out. I'm out too. on it. Yeah. It'd have to be mixed in with something like I could if I could mix them with something else, like maybe a good uh, serving of hamburger hopper. <laughs> I'm that was actually that. a good one. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty harsh on you, but that yeah, one was a good one. Yes. Yeah, so. Thank you very much. I'm here till nine. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm going to clean the house. <laughs> That's yeah. what we're doing. Yeah, but seriously, it had to mix with something. There's no way I could eat just a like even fried. No. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I was sitting out on my porch this weekend, yeah. and a grasshopper that was probably about two inches long oh, came goodness. and landed on my leg, and the way I freaked out and screamed, <laughs> there's no way I could grab one and just, no. <laughs> you I know, not. I, I can't just I'd be concerned it. if you're eating, your dog would leave the home, it would I, run away. He should, if I'm eating grasshoppers, somebody needs to check on me. Yeah, you say, I'm next. Yeah, I don't know, I'm out on it. Mom has lost her mind. <laughs> I know it. Yeah, but there's no way. I don't care if you grill it, if you put barbecue sauce, ranch. I don't. There's no way. What if you were a balding male, and it promises all sleep. of your hair growing back? Okay. Would you do it? No. For a full head of healthy twenty-year-old head. Guaranteed. Hair. Is yeah. it guaranteed? Guaranteed. Yeah. How many? How many do I have to eat? Twenty a day. Okay. Sign me up. Really? Yeah. So twenty a day, and you do I it. I can get me some sweet baby rays or something put on there. Forty a some day. Cheese. 40 a day? Yeah. Can I mix it inside Rotel cheese dip? Nope. You got to eat them. Inside of a key lime pie. <laughs> I can't know. I couldn't eat 40. So you cap it out at 20. One. I'd be throwing up after one. <laughs> There's no way I could eat 40 grasshoppers. No. Did you? No. I can't even eat like 40 gummy bears. No. <laughs> As nasty. much less grasshoppers. <laughs> eight forty six. And Holly on Alabama's Country Giant. WQSB. Ready to find your dream home? With Anna Weathers Smith at Main Street Realty, your home search just got easier. Whether you're buying or selling, Anna offers expert advice and personalized service to help you make the best move. Discover the difference a dedicated realtor can make. Call Anna Weathers Smith at Main Street Realty today at 256 302 or visit AnnaWeathersmith.com. Your perfect home is just a call away. Looking for reliable insurance that cares about you? At Miguel Corona Allstate Insurance Agency, we're more than just policies. We're your neighbors dedicated to keeping our community safe and secure. Whether it's home, auto, or life insurance, Miguel's team provides personalized service to fit your needs. With Allstate, you're in good hands. Join the Miguel Corona Allstate Insurance family today. Call us at 256 840 9422 or visit us on Facebook. Your community, your coverage, your peace of mind.